Hey guys, how are you guys doing today? Hopefully everybody's doing excellent, perfect. All right, so today is another quick uh, tip video to help you guys to create and manifest your dream reality or your perceived reality as our brains interpret it. So today, I'm gonna show you how to speed up manifestation to attract anything, money, whatever, anything. We're gonna speed it up and we're gonna use the laws of quantum physics and the laws of our minds. We're gonna know how things work on a small level, which will interpret and create the big level, or what we know as classical mechanics. Quantum mechanics is small stuff. Classical mechanics is the big stuff, the huge stuff you see. All right, so here's how we're gonna do this, all right. So now we know that everything in the universe exists in energy forms, everything is energy. So the physical perceived things that you see, they are formed or created by energy crystallizing or forming what is known as matter. Energy brings forth the atoms, the atoms create the electrons, the protons, the neutrons, hence they create matter, substance, something physically real. Okay, so in order to speed up manifestation, you have to know how to channel energy. In other words, you have to know how to direct your energy. So here's, a, here's some tips we're gonna talk about. Three forces, all right? We're gonna talk about momentum, direction, and of course, power. If you combine these forces together, I'm gonna to show you how right now, you will speed up manifestation in no time, okay? So let's begin, all right? So when it comes to momentum, okay? And when it comes to power, there are certain rules of the universe are certain laws that we must adhere to or follow these are laws that are created okay such as gravity all right let's go ahead, let's begin with first let's talk about our first key to manifesting or creating creating a lot faster so we will go with direction okay so in order to manifest you must know what you want so you have to make a decision on the direction you want to go in other words your thought energy focus are you focusing on abundance or lack according to your mind that's the direction now see it's energy so you can either focus on what you want or what you don't want that's the first key to enhance creative manifestation all right second key is momentum so once you make a decision to focus on what you want which is of course i hope would be abundance and you start to use your visuals and your thought energy now you start to put thought energy okay into the visuals because remember Things start from within the mind and it would manifest out first. Remember, our brain sees first and our eyes is the receptor. So your brain uses your eyes as tools. So it begins from inside. So you do that with what is known as visuals, visualizations. Okay? So let's go again. So we're gonna start with the direction. So you make your mind up. This is what I want. Then you start to focus on it with your thought energy. So we got our direction. Now, momentum comes into play. So what is momentum? Well, momentum is the energy being created faster and faster and faster that's more energy going so how do you get the energy to speed up well you don't have to worry about speeding up guess what does that gravity quantum gravity or gravity and anything gravity pulls in so how do you let your momentum or your thoughts go out to come back and manifest well very simple by not putting up resistance by allowing it to flow how do you allow it by not figuring out how you're going to get it don't get into the ego's mind of trying to figure out is this how I'm going to work when you do that you create resistance because now you take your higher self or your subconscious out the picture because now you're saying I doubt I don't really believe therefore I must put myself in it to do it and you can't do it my friend because your mind my mind is very limited is a capped mind our conscious mind is very limited it can't go that far okay your subconscious infinite mind it knows the how it'll work out the details for you so that's the key to momentum by letting the how go once you let the how go and just focus on what i call the end thinking or the end results there it is now your manifestations will start to speed up okay now we're building momentum so now we have the speed coming into manifestation now we go to the third factor which is power so what is power basically your thought energy focus or again basically power falls in falls into the realm of repetition and awareness meaning that monitor your thoughts repeat the process our brains and our minds are works in this matter 
our brains are, are machines of repetition and habit. The more you repeat something, the more you do it, the more it forms an imprint into your subconscious. Your subconscious creates a reality map, a loop. So it starts to produce it and you attract it. So those are your keys to manifest and create. All right, guys? So remember, okay, direction, know what you want, focus on that. Momentum, let go. Don't figure out how. Gravity will take care of that. Higher self will start the career. Now, power. What power? Awareness, repetition. Keep doing it. The more you do that, now we, we form what is known as critical mass. Energy works in this way. Energy can never be created or destroyed. So what happens? If momentum keeps building, it gets to a point where it becomes unstable. Unstability or stability. What happens now? We, have, we approach critical mass. Critical mass is boom. The explosion. What is the explosion? Your desires manifested into a material form. Okay? Now this works for everything. Lottery, money, house, car. I will say this when it comes to the lottery though. When it comes to the lottery and you're figuring out the, um, the how, this is the key, this is the trick with the lottery guys. You have to have put some sort of how in the lottery because if you're buying a ticket, you're saying to the universe, this is how I intend. But here's the trick. The lottery should be one of the means that the universe can deliver to you. One of the how, not the only how. That's the key now. In other words, you're not gonna say it's lottery or bus. If you say it's lottery or bus, then you're dependent you're shutting out all the other avenues that your higher self can bring to you so that you can manifest and create your desires. Okay, guys? And we'll talk again. Happy manifest.